Hello everyone and welcome back to Ghost Paper. Today I want to do another MIDI tutorial and we're going to talk about Quickshape, this amazing tool that I actually use in 99 if not 100% of my drawings whenever I'm creating content for this channel. And to simply explain Quickshape, um, you can go on Procreate and you can really draw some really um, natural irregular lines uh, such as these two ones but sometimes you may want to draw things that have a lot of, a lot more precision you may want to draw things that have there are much more a straighter per se so here's one example here's another example that i'm just showing you right here and these are quick shapes so how do we achieve quick shapes basically just creating a new layer here is so whenever you draw any uh, line on your artwork and you actually keep holding the tip of your pen onto the canvas and that is what Procreate understands that you want to access quick shape and then you're able to reposition this line whatever you want on your canvas and also there's a button right here once you let go once from creating your line and that is called edit shape and with that you're able to reposition this line once again whatever you want on your canvas but you're also given the amount of busiers for each um, created shape so in this case because we have a line we only have two controls but if you had something like a square you would have for controls for each vertex and um, what I want to show you guys first uh, I just have to hop back here into my preferences so clicking on tools and going to gesture controls and here on the sub menu of quick shape the that delay that you just saw from the drawing of my line into becoming quick shape is actually set here on my draw and hold make sure this is set uh, selected to active and this is my delay at the moment is about a third of a second so 0.3 four of a second and uh, this is about the time that I want for something that I draw on to become a quick shape because sometimes we actually just want to draw lines that are irregular and you don't want them necessarily becoming quick shape so what are what are other things that we can do uh, with quick shape so we can also draw some um, other elements such as a circle you just have to do the circular mo motion and keep holding the tip of your pen onto the canvas and again you're given the option to have an ellipse or you can just click here and it becomes a circle about the size from your first attempt to draw that shape so with the circle unfortunately let's just say that I want to expand this to a much bigger circle with the attempt of clicking here circle and just kind of um, organizing the shape to be a bigger circle but unfortunately it snaps back to once again your first attempt of that uh, of drawing that circle but you're still able to reposition anywhere uh, that you want on your canvas and also tweak the beziers so uh, again talking about more shapes that we can do we can create triangles such as this one and then you're given a few options as you can see the um, the handles here they don't necessarily allow you to break that formation of a triangle but if I click quadrilateral then all of a sudden I have way more points and this is an assumption from procreate trying to understand the shape that you draw in the first place and then there's polyline which kind of looks like an open uh, shape it allows you to maybe reposition this to a different kind of triangle and so on and so forth finally we can also do a square right here and then you're given a few options quadrilateral square rectangle and polyline and again polyline is the uh, open shape kind of and just bear in mind that like if your shape is actually open a little bit here if when you draw if you're not able to do um, a closed shape something that will kind of look like this just bear in mind that once you do color dragging it will not be able to paint that little square as you can see right here as an example so always make sure that once you're drawing your quick shape that you're a little bit careful to the shape that you're trying to create and finally one last bonus tip that I want to show you guys something that I just discovered um, a few weeks ago to be completely honest and that is related to the fact that uh, one thing that I was just showing you is that once you draw your quick shape and then you go here at a shape say that you want a circle you position where you want and then you click away all of a sudden you're not able because this converts back into a pixel and you then you're not able to tweak those beziers 
However, if you go here back into the tools menu and go into gesture controls, go back to the quick shape, and then you're given a few options to activate something that you, did, that you just drew into a quick shape. So here we have tap the little square icon, which is uh, the icon that uh, sits between your brush size and your brush opacity. You can also do a finger touch from the shape that you just created. You do a finger touch and that becomes a quick shape with the options at the top. You can use the three finger swipe, which is something that I'm already using as my copy and paste and just see that once I turn it on, uh, it's not happening here right now, but it usually gives me an attention button, a yellow sign, meaning that there is a conflict of gesture controls, meaning that I'm using this three finger swipe for two things at the same time. And finally, there's the four finger tap, which uh, makes all the, I'm using that already to make all my UI go away, kind of a full screen mode. And you can also use a uh, quick shape activation as an Apple Pencil double tap. But if you actually turn on, I'm just gonna turn on the top uh, option right here, which is the tap the square. And then let's just see, uh, that's what I wanna show you guys. So let's just say I draw something that looks like this. And then I go into edit shape. I want it to be a polyline and I make this very cool kind of zigzaggy thing. And once I click away, I'm not able to edit this shape anymore, right? Well, in fact, when I click the square button that I was that I've just activated my options, I get the edit shape button back. And once I click edit shape, I'm now back to being able to edit my quick shape. So this is something new that I just discovered, and I find it a very good, like almost like a bonus tip, because it's basically a um, a redo or an undo per se of quick shape. So now when I click away, if I'm still not happy about where I wanted this line to be, I just click on the square again and I go edit shape and I have the option to tweak once again. So just bear in mind, this only works with your last created quick shape. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it had some good educational value for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more content and make sure to leave in the comment section down below any other questions you may have about Procreate, about QuickShape, or any other tools, and I'll try my best to answer every single one of you. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao.